in Sporting News Today, Oscar Pistorius on the red carpet, Benzema, Loris and Gomez sing for charity, Nike's African commercial, Lionel Messi the beverage and Barcelona players enjoy a ride. Oscar Pistorius is a unique champion. The South African was born without fibula. He managed to overcome his disability and become a great athlete. At 25, he's already won four gold medals at the Paralympics and he has his heart set on taking part in the 2012 London Games. Since his carbon fiber prosthetics have been given the go-ahead, Oscar Pistorius can now legally compete alongside able-bodied athletes. In 2011, he became the first athlete with a disability to win a medal during an able-bodied championship, a feat that was rewarded with a trophy at the Laureus World Sports Awards on February the 6th in London. Trey Sports caught up with the South African champion on the red carpet before he received his award. Very, uh, very nervous. It's great to be here once again. Uh, you know, the Laureus, um, the World Sports Awards is, is a very special uh, event. I don't think I'll ever be used to the red carpet. It's always very nerve-wracking. Uh, I've been down here a couple of times before in the past and every time I get nervous, you know, I'm very comfortable on the field or on the track in front of thousands of people, but uh, walking down here is a bit nerve-wracking. Karim Benzema, Bafetim Begomis and Hugo Loris are the latest celebrities asked to perform at annual French charity concert Les Enfoirés. French artists and celebrities have taken to the stage in the city of Lyon to support the needy since 1989. After Zinedine Zidane, David Douillet and Michel Platini, it was Karim Benzema, Bafetim Begomis and Hugo Loris's turn to enjoy the troupe vibe. The Real Madrid striker was not intimidated at all for his big premiere. He did a few tricks before grabbing the mic. Karim Benzema sang Dead Daniel Balavoine's Le Chanteur, the singer, renamed the footballer for the event. He then sang a second time as part of the chorus for the grand finale, Pink Floyd's The Wall. Nike is advertising in Africa. The famous American brand is surfing on the popularity of the Africa Cup of Nations and has chosen to showcase four African talents. A first for Nike, which is more used to generating buzz in Europe and the United States. Codename of the campaign, New Generation. A golden generation consisting of Ivorian player Gervinho, Ghanaian Kwadwo Samoa, his fellow countryman Adria Yu, and Moroccan player Adel Tarabt. We are the end of hope, but the beginning of belief. Strong. Proud. Ruthless. Brilliant. We are the day of reckoning. We are the new generation. You'll soon be able to order a glass of Leo. Yes, you heard right, Lionel Messi will soon have a vintage named after him. The Valentin Bianchi Vineyard, one of the biggest in Argentina, is going to produce a wine called Leo in honor of the Argentine footballer. It will be available worldwide from April onwards. Part of the profits will be donated to one of the charities Lionel Messi founded in 2007 which supports Argentine children and teens. The Bianchi family can count on the support of the incredible network of Lionel Messi fans to buy Leo wine. After only a year, Messi has over 30 million fans on Facebook. Six FC Barcelona players, Audi Q3s, and a beaten up track make for an explosive mix. <laughs> Gerard Piqué, Cesc Fabregas, Carles Puyol, and Thiago Alcantara became bona fide racing aces when they took their Audi Q3 for a spin. FC Barcelona and the German car manufacturer teamed up in 2008, and they seem to have a pretty fruitful partnership. 